This is Aaron Schaefer, your tour guide in Israel. I'm here live at the Kotel, at the Western Wall. And before I bring your prayers to the wall, I just bumped into a very uh, wonderful person who I've uh, met here and there over the years. I've had the great honor to speak with him. His name is Rabbi Gutman Locks, and he has a really amazing story to tell. I'm going to put you on now. And Rabbi Locks uh, is a very holy Jew. He'll argue with me, but he's been through a lot in his life. He searched for God at a young age already, and he ended up being in the Far East. He ended up becoming a kind of guru for a while of uh, Eastern um, uh, religions until he found the, true, the truth of the Jewish religion, of the one God. And he has a lot of wisdom and uh, a lot of interesting stories to tell and a lot of, uh, of, uh, of great insights to tell about the truth that he's found over the years. So I wanted, even though he's running and he has a lot to do, I want to let you guys ask questions for just a couple of minutes. He only has five or ten minutes. Uh, Rabbi Lox, do you want to say something while the questions are coming in? What's the, what's the question you want me to discuss? Someone says, peace, has shalom from Louisiana. Uh, tell them something about, uh, in, in two minutes, about your journey and what you discovered. Someone says they know you from YouTube. Ah, thank you. <laughs> That's a he, Rabbi Lox has a lot of videos on YouTube teaching about the Jewish religion, about the Torah, and about God. Blessings from Virginia, <coughs> Shalom from Paris. Okay. Let me just sit it. <coughs> One time, I got something in my throat. I don't know if I'll be able to talk clearly because something's in my throat. I'll give it a shot. I'll talk to the man from Louisiana. What do they teach you in Louisiana? Is God in the heart of the devil? You'd probably say, no, no way. And I would say they cheated you and gave you a little God because the God of the Bible is infinite. And the infinite is everywhere. That's the definition of infinite, without boundaries, without end. Only worship the God who's infinite. Now, one of the major problems in the world today is they tell a story about a man they say was crucified 2,000 years ago. And they buried him, and he went to the grave on the third day, the fourth day. Was he in the grave? No, he was arisen. Well, if he's not in the grave, he's not everywhere. Don't worship him. Worship only the God who's everywhere, the one infinite God. And what's your question? Thank man? you very much, Rabbi Locks. Does anyone have any questions for Rabbi Locks or any comments? He only has a minute or two, and then I'm going to go approach the Western Wall. People say, Amen, Amen. <laughs> they like your message. Or the ones who don't like your message are keeping it to themselves. Someone says, we Christians do tend to put God in a box. How do you make it to heaven, someone asks. By making the earth a good place. We're by judged making... by our deeds. We're judged by what we do. So do good, and good will come to you. It's guaranteed. Their prayers are with you, they say. Blessings to you. Why must heads be covered at the Kotel, someone asks. Why what? Why must heads be covered at the Kotel? It's not just at the Kotel, but wherever we go, the men cover our hair. It comes from a custom that the rabbis have given us because it used to be in the temple days that the priest would cover their hair. So since we don't have the temple service, we act as if we are enacting the temple service in our daily life. So the rabbis enacted a decree that we should cover our hair, our heads, the men, especially when we pray. Someone asked if you believe in sin. In sin? Yes. Sure, sin is, of course you believe in sin. Sin is doing the wrong thing. The problem in life is whatever you do comes back to you. You do good, good comes back to you. A person does a sin, God's going to send him something that's going to hurt. Don't do it. Does someone ask if um, why why you grow your beard? The sages tell us that beards are sparks of holiness. So it's like a holy thing. If you see a man with a long beard, it's unlikely he's going to start a fight with you because he's got the beard you could pull. <laughs> Someone asked, actually said that they really want to pull your beard. God forbid. Don't do it. I might punch you. Someone asked if you believe in hell. No, yeah, there's, there's hell. It, hell is the, the embarrassment that the soul gets when it sees what it did in the world. After we live this world, there's a judgment period. A movie comes on the screen called This Is Your Life. And everything you did on the screen comes on the screen. And the soul gets very, very embarrassed seeing this. That's the fires of hell. 
the embarrassment of the soul. Rabbi Lux, I gave a Torah class on Thursday night on live stream, and I gave the exact same explanation. Well, that's what the embarrassment... The exact the same explanation. Someone uh, said God makes us sin. God allows us to sin. He wants us to have free will. He gives us free will, and he hides so we don't see him. Then he puts before us good, and he puts before us bad. He says, choose whatever you want, like a free restaurant. Whatever you choose, you're going to get, and it's going to bring back something again and again and again to you. So choose good. Someone asked the question that everybody asks, the famous question of why do good people suffer? Even Moshe, our teacher, asked the same question. And the answer Moshe is Moses, in case people don't know who Moshe is. Some, okay. We never know why something comes to someone else, but whatever comes to us, we should try to stop and think, why did that come to me? Not just the bad, but the good also. And that's how we guide our lives. So sometimes something can happen to somebody because of something they did even in their last lifetime. The Torah even talks about reincarnation. They never know why anything happens to anyone else. But as I said, whatever happens to you, you should stop and say, why did God send that to me? So you can guide your life and go the way you want to go. People say true. Someone says hello from Sweden. Uh, next here in Jerusalem. People want to know where you grew up. I'm still working on that. <laughs> where were your uh, formative early years of your life I uh, all over past? The go to thereisone.com, YouTube videos. And one of my videos, I tell my life story. It's called Been There done that thank god i'm here now take a look at it you hear the story okay guys uh, rabbi lox has a very popular uh youtube channel with millions of views on it okay so if you just go to youtube and search for the name gutman lox which is the in the title of this broadcast you can see how it's spelled gutman lox you'll be able to find on YouTube his channel very easily. He has dozens, maybe even hundreds of videos. No, no, I only have about 37 videos. Okay. But there are many other channels, so there are millions of views altogether. Millions of views um, on YouTube. My channel is only has about 650,000. Rabbi Lox is a man with a lot of wisdom and someone who I have a lot of respect for. He wrote a book many years ago called There Is One that explains the oneness of God. And I think it's still available, still available online. So, so you should definitely... Now is the time for videos more than even books. Someone asked if there was life before this life. Do you believe in pre-incarnation, reincarnation? For some people, reincarnation, yes. The Torah talks about it. And, and especially for the Jewish people, that we'll come back again and again until we figure out what we were put here to accomplish. And once we accomplish it, we'll wait until the end when the final redemption comes. Very good. I took a lot of your time. I know you're very busy. I'm going to go down. But I really appreciate you giving me I us a few that, minutes. I hope the people check it all out. Yes, I people hope. are checking it out. So God bless you. Be well. All right, guys. I just came here to bring your prayer request to the hotel. So I'm going to go off now and save my battery because I need at least a half an hour here to go through all of the prayer requests. Um, and then I'm going to come back on and give you guys a nice view close up to the hotel. So Shalom, I'll be back in maybe 20, 30 minutes. But I had to put Rabbi Locks on because he's a very special man. <laughs>